In this problem, we have to find a power series representation for this function centered at c equals zero and the interval of convergence. So the formula we're going to use in this problem is the following. So if we have one over one minus x, this is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from zero to infinity of x to the n. And this is true if the absolute value of x is less than 1. So let's go ahead and go through this problem very carefully. So we have h of x, and that's equal to 1 over 1 minus 8x. And so this whole piece here, this 8x, is like our x here in this formula. So now we apply the formula. This is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And instead of x, it's 8x. So it's 8x to the n. And this equation is true if, well, normally it's if the absolute value of x is less than 1. So in our case, it's if the absolute value of 8x is less than 1. This is what we're going to use to find the interval of convergence in a second. So for now, this is it. This is the answer. Perhaps a better way to write this would be infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of 8 to the n times x to the n. This is a little bit nicer. Uh, but either of these uh, is okay. Typically, I like to reduce, especially if there's a lot of reduction. It's always a good idea uh, to simplify like this. All right, let's find the interval of convergence. We can take this and solve for x. So whenever you have an inequality like this, you can drop the absolute values, and you get a positive one here, and then you get a greater than symbol, or rather another less than, and a negative one. To finish, we'll divide everything by 8. Boom. So we get negative 1 eighth is less than x, which is less than 1 eighth. And in interval notation, the interval of convergence would be negative 1 eighth, comma, 1 eighth. And then you put this in parentheses just like that. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.